So the diversity statement is one that's becoming very important, not just in college applications, but in law school applications, graduate applications, even job applications. And don't think about it just in terms of diversity, think about it in terms of diversity and inclusion. And what's the goal? The goal really is to show that you have a sense of tolerance, patience, compassion, open-mindedness, empathy. That's what you're really trying to take out with this diversity statement. So let's think about each one of those steps in terms of how to structure it, what to include, and what not to include in the common mistakes. Now, when thinking about diversity, don't think it's just one monolithic thing. It's about identity and what really matters to you, what makes you unique and stand out, what gives you that sense of empathy. Now, we've talked about this before in some of the videos. It could be race, religion, a medical tribulation, a challenge, a hardship you faced, right? Think about all those factors, right? And what really makes you unique, what makes you stand out, what really makes you empathetic to other people, understanding of other people, right? That's one of the most important things about diversity and what you really wanna shed light on in terms of your statement. <laughs> So how do you structure the diversity statement? Much like the personal statement, there's an ABC formula that we've come up with that we've talked about here. In there, you can figure out exactly how to structure it so that you can hit the main points and really stand out as a unique, diverse candidate. Now let's use an example. The example we want to use is, let's say, you grew up in a diverse community. So you want to have an action sequence, an attention grabber, A for attention grabber, that really kind of pulls them in in terms of that diverse community. Then B, talk about your background, growing up, right? Your parents, what they inculcated in you, their values, especially about diversity, especially about inclusion, and really being open-minded and tolerant to other people, right? And then how you saw that manifested in that diverse community, but that you really kind of were more sheltered just within that community, not looking really beyond that. So then you go into C, career, but here we really want to talk about volunteer career. Talk about what you did for those diverse communities, how you manifested that open-mindedness, that tolerance, right? Then D, go to direction. Talk about how you are going to continue that concept of diversity, of that concept of inclusion, open-mindedness, tolerance throughout your academic career and towards your professional career. Then finally, E, okay? E for educational institution. How are you going to preserve the diversity within you? How is that school going to do that for you? And how are you going to add value? to that school, to that diverse community, right? To create that inclusive environment. So what don't you include in the diversity statement? You don't want to... Oh. <laughs> wow. What you don't want to include are things like false parallels, being inauthentic. Don't include things that you've already included in other statements. Like if you have a personal statement, a diversity statement, really differentiate the two. And make sure that in terms of diversity, don't speak about diversity and don't show where you've acted on it. It's so important in the diversity statement to show your action and show how you'll continue acting on it. It's not just an isolated incident. I hope you found this useful and get you on the right track to success. If you have any questions for us, post them below. And if you want to subscribe to our channel, click over here. And if you want more content, make sure to click over here.